you. And here it is, nice and neatened up. Again, this is trash, so I'll replace, I will replace that. Tie rod and the ball joint there, I'll, I'll replace that. Um, so it looks like orange here in the... Uh, um, Alright, so that's sort of a reflection. And maybe some dust, I'm going to blow that out. But this doesn't look too bad. Uh, I just wire wheeled it, didn't uh, flapper disc it. This looks awfully nice. God dang it, awfully nice. And so I'm going to, um, I'm going to cover this up. Cover this. I'm going to wipe it down with acetone, get all the grease and junk off, and then I'm going to cover up the parts that that I don't want painted, like the brass fitting here, and I'm going to prime it tonight. Yep, I am. This seriously took me a good three hours. What a pain in the ass. Um, Ugh, I had to de-rustify. I don't even tell. I'm taking a better picture in there. Those things were soaked in rust. Shouldn't be too surprised. You can still see some scoring in there that I probably should get out, but... Come on now. And... Even the D-rings. Those D-rings came out in pieces. I finally had to take one of these out. See if I can find one. Here's one of them. Here's one of the pieces. That's now gone. Um, took that out with a pair of friggin' vice grips. God, that sucker right there. I was able to get one part of it out. Even the caps. Hey, for gosh sakes. Everything's rusted. So, not bitching. Not bitching. Um, I ended up taking off, <laughs> taking off the caps with my trusty friggin' angle grinder. That sucker's my best friend. And you can see that, you know, it just would not come off. It wouldn't come out. And God knows I tried, and I hit it, and I hit it more, and bruised it, and said nice things to it, and threatened it, and nope. And here's more or less why. If you can... All of that. So that's why. That's partially why this whole thing had to get replaced. It's not like I wanted to, or, well, why not? You can see rust there, too. It was because you joins was the joint was barely functional so there's my new one and the guts and stuff go with it and i'll be probably screwing it up hopefully not sometime very soon hmm. i'm actually done getting it put back together was five minutes if that per uh, per side and i was being careful because i didn't want to break anything which i think is impossible with this goddamn thing but yeah Who'd have thought? So, it's, uh, it bends nicely. And it looked pretty. It bends, it bends, it, it rotates like it should. There's no, what do you call it, stepping or whatever. And I even put the Zerk fitting in beforehand. Um, and, I have a, and I've got a grease gun somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is. but So I guess I'll grease the sucker up at some other point. Yep. Not not a bad afternoon. Didn't get anything else done, but that was about it.